So we have this bench here on overpass and we want to put this on a green screen. So it's isolated by itself and we can do some cool interesting transitions. So what we do is we make first make a stream, right? And we're going to make a mat world stream and we'll call it W. Okay? So there's the command. All right? And if you ever want to know if your your command worked, you can do merv streams print. And as you can see, we have W now, you know, recorded under the stream list, okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to then preview this, okay? Merv streams preview W. Okay? All right, we just previewed W. All right? So now, what we do is we do merv streams edit w and then picker okay so if you ever want to so did you see what i did i incrementally started adding more and more commands because you can always see what commands you can execute by just typing out the basic uh, merv command or hlae command and then you can see what you can do under that okay so merv streams edit w picker okay so now we have two uh, we have we have two options we can either do the picker for the entity or the picker for the material okay so I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this is probably you know we'll call this a material I'm gonna say this is a material because it's not a gun it's not a player it's not a flashbang or a diffuse kit, right? So we're gonna we're gonna say that this is probably a material in the map, okay? So what we do is we do merv streams edit picker mat, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick one because it's now visible. So whenever you pick one, you want to pick one when the material or the entity is visible, and you want to pick zero when it's invisible, okay? And I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you how that works. So it's visible, right? So we're gonna pick one. Okay. It's still visible. Okay. So we're gonna pick one again. It's now invisible. Okay. So we're going to pick zero. It's still invisible. So it's going to be zero again. It's now visible. So we're gonna pick one. It's still visible. One. It's invisible, zero. It's invisible, zero. It's now visible, and we've, and it looks like uh, Half-Life Advance Effects has now found our material, or um, as CSGO has it, a prop under the model folder, okay? So what we do is we're going to copy that, all right, control C, okay. We want to undraw it from the world, and we want to draw it on an entity layer, okay? A matte entity layer. So let's first do that. Mer we're going to first undraw it from the world. Ready? Merv streams edit W action filter, okay? Add uh, quotation, control V to get our name, and then no draw, okay? Okay, we have now undrawn it from the, the, the world layer, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to add a matte entity layer, we'll call it E, okay? Now we're going to draw it onto E, okay? So merge streams, edit E, action filter, add our model prop, and instead of no draw, draw. Okay, now at the same time, we also want to stop our picker, okay, and then we also want to preview our entity layer, okay? We now have the bench on the entity layer, and now we can green screen it out easily. We don't have to worry about masking or rotoscoping, and we can do a lot of cool transitions. Guys, if you like this, please like, subscribe, and comment. Help the algorithm and help out the channel, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.